So at this point, what we're going to be talking about is working with another image adjustment. And you can use that as an adjustment layer, or you can go to image adjustments up here. And the one we're talking about this time is color balance. Well, to begin with, what I've asked or what I'm going to ask you to do at this point is to go to File Open and you can navigate to your Sources Images folder and open up Women in Red JPEG. And here we see three women in red. Their robes are in red and their skin tones are red and the backgrounds are red. So there's just an overabundance of red in this particular image. So one of the things that we can do is again either go through image adjustments and say color balance or this is also available as an image adjustment layer. So we can go to the adjustment layer and click on this particular one right here which is create a new color balance adjustment layer. There's a couple of things that we can do with that. For example, if you want to name it something else just press on the Option key if you're on a Mac or the Alt key on a PC and this will open up the New Layer dialog box here. You can call it Color Balance 1 or you can give it any other name if you wish. So um, we can diminish the reds. And as you can see here, it's just doing something along those lines. If you wanted to, you can also uh, delete the layer mask. In this case, I want it to be affecting everything. So you can just right click on that and say delete layer mask. Nice and easy. So at this point, what I'm going to be showing you is how the adjustment layers are going to be affected here with the color balance. Well, notice that there are a number of tones, mid-tones, and highlights in this. Well, we talked about that when we were looking at the histogram and how that was reflected in that little graph that we saw. Well, here, if we work with these mid-tones, we can see we have an overabundance of red. So, cyan being the direct opposite of red, we can slide this down. And in this case, even if we slid it all the way down to minus 100, um, it still seems to be showing up all right. Now, that's generally you know, a little bit too much in certain instances. So you should be careful of that. Unless, of course, as this particular image has um, a real overabundance of red. So I'm just going to slide that down just a little bit more. And as you can see, our reds in the, in the actual robes themselves are not really affected all that much. I mean, certainly they are affected to some degree. But really, this is helping to take down the reds that are in an overabundance on their skin tones. And while their skin tones should have red, it should not be you know, too much red in there. Well, notice if you wanted to augment some of the greens, you could just pump this a little bit higher and notice that elements do become green including skin tones so you gotta be careful about that we don't want to go too too far with it so as you can see here even if I were to you know bump up some of the greens in the backgrounds well there's too much green in here well let's see what we can do if we wanted to eliminate that well certainly we wouldn't go into the yellows but we could go into the blues and enhance some of the blues so that's still enhancing the greens and to help get that green out of those skin tones you can enhance some of the blue color and in doing so you get the best of both worlds so you really do have a very very different looking image and we can check that out just by coming over here and clicking on the visibility of that remember what it was like before my goodness that's really much too much red in there but bring it back wow it's a really nice balance of color and it works out so much better than what we had in the original image. All done through the color balance.